Yeah. Yeah. Very serious. If she didn't right. like it, she would have made me cry right there. That's what I said. What I love about the show is it's sort of like. One of the things I've I've always enjoyed about Modern Family is that as funny as it is and as crazy as it is and how outrageous it is, it always seems to have so much heart in it, which I think is sort of surprising in, in a comedy. Um, but that seems to be such a key ingredient that's made this show a success. What do, what do you feel about that? Well, I'm, I, I, I tip my hats again to Chris and Steve and, and, the, and the staff there for not being scared of, of, of that because I think comedy can get snarky and did get snarky and sort of inside and sort of mean-spirited at times. And the idea that something can be sweet and uh, tug a little bit on people's heartstrings. I, at, at the time that Modern Family came out, this sounds ridiculous, was somewhat courageous in, in the world of comedy to be that kind of risk, that sappy sappiness, if you will, at the end of our episode sometimes in, in different scenes. But I think the, the, the sheer, Velocity of jokes in a scene that we have that we those guys have, and uh, as 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 many things that come as rapid fire sort of make up for anyone that can say oh that shows just one thing or that shows this. I mean, it's a it's a it's a fairly complex organism over there, uh, which I still marvel at. Our Vegas episode that we did this year, um, Fred was on, uh, was I mean. It was a, it was a, a pure farce. Like it was, and the way that third act came together, that had that depended on so many things from the first and second act, was just a real treat to watch happen and be a part of. But um, I love that we're sappy. I love that we're sweet. I love that stuff. And you know what? You can only you know listen to what people say to you on the street and and come up to you and what they say and. You know, a lot of times that's what people's favorite part of our show is, is that they're willing to do that. And of course people come up and be like, I don't like that thing. It's like, well, you're not going to make everybody happy. But mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great quality of our show. Snarkiness and mean-spiritedness have no place in Portlandia whatsoever. I mean, it's a very specific tone. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how, and I think it was a risky concept to begin with to sort of take the city and poke gentle fun at it and it's very effective but there's there's a real affection involved in the humor which I think is is really impressive. Well yeah I think I mean similar to what Eric was saying I mean we didn't want to be mean-spirited I mean we didn't want to make people targets and I think there's something that's really keeps people especially an audience at a distance you know when you're snarky or you're sort of prescribing like well, this is what's funny and this is what's silly about these people and instead of when we just embody who they are we we're, or we know who they are because they're parts of of us you know it, it kind of invites the audience in it's like the audience has something to discover if there's sweetness and heart in a show you know they can take a couple of steps forward and I think in terms of building a fan base and having people really feel a sense of almost ownership over these characters and over the show I think having that kind-heartedness really plays into that a lot and um, so yeah that that relatability I think is something that we really cherish and we when we're in the writers room we really steer away from things that start to get too mean. And usually that's easy because that's just not how we write. <laughs>